Hey, guess what? A brand new trailer dropped yesterday from Warner Brothers. <laughs> A brand new trailer dropped yesterday from Warner Brothers. Shock horror. Could it be because the Batman is around the corner? Who knows? So this will be an interesting one to watch because DC, the world needs heroes. I'm suspecting is what they have coming out this year. And uh, without further ado, look, it's a pretty good like ratio. 25,000 compared to 265 downvotes. So Warner Brothers, you can breathe a sigh of relief. Let's watch this trailer. Who are you under there? I'm Fartman. My son dreamt of a better world. That's why he saved me. You can go to any timeline, any universe. My fight to save this one. Michael Keaton, JJ! What could be greater than a king? The hero. I just got goosebumps. <laughs> If we don't stand up, no one will. Time to puff oh your chest. This is glorious. Hawkman. Waiting for you. Hey, Pierce. Are you in? Oh, no. Is that three Ezra Millers? <laughs> that wasn't bad. You know what's very this interesting about this? It's very male-centric because, yes, they've used the word heroes in the title, which kind of makes a lot of sense. Of course, don't forget, we've got Latina Supergirl coming out this year with the fake washboard stomach and emaciated Batgirl. So, yes, whoop de doo looking forward to those and clapping Slay Queen like Jeff Keighley when they make their first trailer appearances. Now, what do I have to say about The Rock, Dwayne Johnson as Black Adam? It's a passion project, sure. Is it going to be great? I don't know. But then you get Pierce Brosnan as Dr. Fate. You need someone with a, a track record of dramatic acting. And Pierce Brosnan is that guy. He's been doing it for a very long time, since the mid-70s. Now, when you bring someone like Brosnan into the fold, it means it's propping up Dwayne Johnson to make him look better. Johnson's not a bad actor. Is he a great actor? No. Is he Shakespeare? No, he definitely isn't. But I do like the costume here. It's pretty good. You can tell it's a bit rough, worn around the edges. It's gritty. He's dirty. I know Dwayne talked about that he wants to bring back the Snyderverse. I don't know if Black Adam is set in the Snyderverse because uh, I don't know. Dwayne has got Danny Garcia as his manager. That's his ex-wife. She's also the manager for Henry Cavill and she's just gotten him shit gigs all the way through with some exceptions of course. So you know why she couldn't get him back in as Superman. I don't know why but I do like this. Uh, Noah Centineo, I'm sure I saw him just a few moments ago. So we'll go, all right. The, I'm not sure what I think about this uh, Flash outfit. Yes, I mean, they've made some upgrades, but Ezra Miller, of course, we're looking forward to when this film gets released. And uh, Ezra will be, <laughs> we will be reminded of that uh, chokehold video. Let's just call it that, shall we? Oh boy. I just saw I just saw Noah Centineo. I don't know who that chick is. Uh, let's have a quick look. There he is. Whoa, damn, the dude has got big. I don't know who he plays in this, so I'm not. I'm a little bit familiar with Black Adam. I know he's like the um, he's the Shazam, but the the bad guy version of Shazam. So, and of course, we know it's Dwayne the Rock Johnson playing Black Adam. And by the end of the movie, he's probably going to be a good guy. That's the way they're building it up. But the one thing that I like about the DC films at the moment, the colors are great. They pop out by just enough. They're not, they don't envelop the screen like the Marvel films do with their color saturation. But I think Marvel movies just don't know how to color saturate, do they? They just don't have a clue. So all their films all look the same. That is the common complaint about all of them. At least with DC, their movies that at least, you know, whether you like them or not, and I like most of them, but the color saturation, the filter they use is great. Um, 
Jason Momoa, the old Momo here. I like it. I'm glad we don't get to see Amber Turd in this at all because it's all about the men for a change. I wonder if, you know what, I'll leave that to the last point of this video, but Jay looks good. I think this is James Wong again who's redirecting, so that's all it is, just him sitting on the throne of Atlantis and looking a badass as usual. Can't say more than that, and that's Ezra Miller touching somebody when he's not supposed to. <laughs> I'm about to choke you out. And Dwayne The Rock Johnson doing the Chris Pratt, uh, or, or graduated from the Chris Pratt uh, School of Facial Expressions. And wow, man, that's got he's got some veinish popping there in his forehead. Yikes. Um, yeah, I don't know who that is. That Hawkman in the background? It looks like him. It could be him. If this could be a good film, again, they've kind of dialed it down with the color saturation, which I love. It's really good. It pops. Um, I mean, I don't know what the fight scenes are going to be like. I, I mean, Black Adam, it's going to be a hard sell, I think, because a lot of people who don't read comic books, the normies, are they going to be drawn to watching this particular movie? Um, I'm going to go. I'm probably a little bit more excited for this than, say, for Love and Thunder, because we know what that might turn out to be. Paul Taika Waititi, he could not escape the mandates. And I'm not talking about the vaccination mandates either. A long, long time ago, we used to look forward to watching the latest DC or Marvel films. Now, Marvel had the upper hand, of course, because they started their DC universe a little bit quicker than DC did. Although, technically, if you think about it, DC could have started their own superhero cinematic universe in the late 1980s. If you had, like, Superman, uh, Christopher Reeves, and Batman, Michael Keaton, teaming up to be the world's greatest. And yeah, you know, they could have even done it before that with Linda Carter's Wonder Woman. Well, maybe not Linda Carter's Wonder Woman, but try and recast that role for a, a big film version. But I guess WB was scared, didn't know what a cinematic universe could entail. So really, when you think about it, while DC had a bit of a head start with Superman and action comics in 1938, you know, they missed a massive opportunity. So when you watch a Marvel film, or when when Marvel films were really good, it was just a great time. You were looking for the stingers, the Easter eggs, what the next film was going to be. And then, you know, what we got coming up after this spate of movies? Well, we got Latin Supergirl. I don't know what she's going to be like. She's going to have a fake stomach. Then we're going to have Emaciated Batgirl. Don't care about her either. So people like Disney, Marvel, Lucasfilm, you name them, they don't care about you. They, they just care about taking your money and then in return, just giving you shit prizes. You know, they're going along with the messaging at the moment. They want, they want to force things down your throat. We don't want it. We're fighting back. Sooner or later, they're going to get the message that nobody is no longer interested in their properties because we are going to find alternative forms of entertainment. It could be from Japan, other parts of Southeast Asia, other outlets out there who are producing their own movies, films akin to what we want to watch. Bear that in mind. We're all going to be doing what I'm doing now, going to a pre-owned shop and craving secondhand physical media to watch or things that maybe somewhere down the line they'll stop producing in large numbers and the only way for you to find these things is to get them secondhand or pre-owned for you americans so folks if you enjoyed this video reaction today do me a massive favor hit the like button slap that subscribe button and if i were you i'd look out for me and my next upload in maybe T minus, who knows? Take care, see you next time. Hail to the king, baby. This is Duke Nukem. And you've been watching Jason King for Kung Fu Hot Dog Reviews. Like, comment, and subscribe. Because the king said so. You got that?